right guys, so in this video we're gonna go over a double punch series or a two punch series. This is staple stuff for your boxing and your Muay Thai game and your MMA game too. So, two punch combinations, because really, that, that's what we're gonna see in fighting. You're not gonna see lovely 18 count combinations. You're gonna see one, two, three strike combinations. They need to be clean, they need to be sharp, they need to be effective, your defense needs to be clean. So, seven combinations. Combination number one, double jab. So, big thing with our double jab, what I wanna see is the footwork is that double step, that stutter step. This could be more like a flip double jab, we're just working on speed, or this can be power double jab, like a piston. But I wanna see really is that footwork and that head moving forward double time. So we're stepping, one more. Okay, that's number one. Number two, jab cross, okay? So you can with the jab to begin, last one double jab, number two, jab cross. What I wanna see this time is we're stepping with our punch. Actually, I wanna see that on all of these. We're stepping with every punch. I'm gonna step with my jab, I'm gonna step with my cross. So my back foot is just stepping when we throw the cross, okay? So, number three, cross lead hook or two, three. So, moving away from the jab as the intro, or the entering strike, now we're gonna move on to our cross. So our lead cross, two, three. Again, we're outside of range, we're gonna move in. Two, three. And again, that hook can be palm down or it can be palm in. Really depends on the range and that's something you're always gonna to have to work on feeling out. Um, the longer the hook, the more it's gonna to tend to be palm down, kind of like a Thai style hook or a Czech style hook. The more close it is, the more it's gonna be palm in with that really nice structure with the elbow. So, that was number three. Number four is gonna be our lead hook cross. So a cross lead hook and a lead hook cross, the exact same two punches, but completely different combinations when we change the order. So for our next one, our lead hook, what I want to see on this one is I want to see that nice little inside slip so we can load the weight up to that front leg, boom. So we can fire off that lead hook, and then again, we're stepping on the cross. Again, Okay, number five, our uppercut or lead uppercut cross. So very similar to our three two, but the three is coming from the peripheral. The five is coming straight up the center line. A good lead uppercut is really designed to come inside my opponent's elbows, inside of their guard. So what I'm gonna have to do is rotate my shoulders, let that hand come off my head, and then comes up the center. And with the lead uppercut, this isn't a giant knockout power uppercut. This is really designed to lift the chin up so I can hit it with that nice clean cross. So again, as we step in, we're gonna rotate the shoulders, the hand comes off my head, boom. Um, a big detail I want you to pay attention to here. My partner's chin is right here. So do I need to drop my uppercut down here to get under the chin? No. So I simply need to get below the chin. So a lot of times we feel like we need to bring the hand all the way down here for a good uppercut, we don't, because it's all in the body. So I'm gonna get just below the chin, boom. Then immediately followed with the clean cross, nice long cross too. This is a long combination, so we step in. Okay, number six is our six three. So now we're moving into the power side, okay? Rear uppercut, lead hook. The last two are a six three and a three six. So this one's our six three. So I'm stepping through with my rear uppercut. What I wanna see on this one is that we're keeping, anytime we're throwing an uppercut, we're keeping the opposite elbow down. It's a really common thing that when we throw an uppercut, we we'll let that other elbow flare up like a chicken wing. Keep that tight, you gotta protect your body. So we're stepping in six, three. Reset. Reset. And then the last one is gonna be our three, six, or number seven is gonna be our three, six. Lead hook, rear uppercut. Again, we set up with that lead, or that, that inside slip. Outside slip, my bad. Outside slip, boom, boom. One more time. And every single time, remember, we step in, we strike, and we get out. The sole purpose of striking, you hit, and you don't get hit. That is all based on good footwork, good defense, and good combinations. Okay, this is your two-punch series. Go practice.